Of all the female companions from the first Doctor era, Barbara Wright is probably the strongest of them all. A history teacher from 1960s London and a, the girlfriend of fellow companion Ian Chesterton, she was a surprisingly strong and independent leader, at least for the time. While Ian was meant to be a young, dynamic male lead, it was often Barbara who took control of the situation rather than Ian or even the Doctor, who at this point was still an, a wise, elderly grandfather character. In addition, Barbara and Ian served as sort of surrogate parents for Susan, a dynamic which was never really recreated in either the original series or even the revived series. One thing that modern fans that fans of the modern series don't seem don't know is that the show was originally intended to be educational, alternating between science fiction stories set in the future and other planets to teach about science, and then period pieces to teach about history. Barbara as a history teacher naturally was sort of the main main-ish character in those episodes. In fact, in the story of the Aztecs, she assumes the role of a goddess and attempts to change history for the better. To no avail, but still she tries to change it, much to the doc Doctor's chagrin. In fact, it's Barbara who often stands up to the Doctor most often, even more than Ian, who is a bit more stubborn than she was. Now I'm going to show you a clip to demonstrate this, but first a little context. The Do ba Barbara and Ian didn't join the Doctor by choice, in fact they kind of joined his travels accidentally and he's been trying to get them back home ever since. And now in this clip they finally found a machine that could take them home, but the Doctor is against it because he feels it's too dangerous. Now, I'll say no more and just let the clip show you. We are not idiots, we want to go home! Yes, home! I want to sit in a pub and drink a pint of beer again. I, I want to walk in a park and watch a cricket match. Above all, I want to belong somewhere, do something, instead of this aimless drifting around in space. Aimless? I tried for two years to get you both home. Well, you haven't been very successful, have you? How dare you, young man? How dare you, sir? I didn't invite you into the ship in the first place. You both thrust yourselves oh, upon me. Doctor, stop! Oh, for heaven's sake, I've never heard such nonsense. Look, I know we thrust ourselves upon you, but we've been through a great deal together since then. And all we've been through will remain with us always. It'll probably be the most exciting part of my life. Look, Doctor, we're different people. And now we have a chance to go home. We want to take that chance. Will you help us work that machine? No. No. I will not aid in a bet suicide. Oh, he's a stubborn little mule. As you, saw in, as you saw in that clip, Barbara is just as willing to challenge the Doctor as Ian, showing that she is very much his equal. The Doctor does eventually send them back home, but with one slight technicality. When Barbara and Ian left Earth, it was 1963. The machine takes them back to 1965. But despite all, that, all the grief they no doubt caused to their friends and family, they celebrate their return with a, with a happy jaunt around London and a kiss. But I digress. Barbara was definitely a standout among the female companions of the black and white era of Doctor Who, and it will be nearly a decade before we saw one as e one equal to the likes of her. <laughs>